Welcome back. This is going to be my daily forecast for the 1st of October for the foreign exchange market. And if you like to uh, support our channel, you're welcome to subscribe, hit the bell button and the like button and do share these videos in order to uh, for this channel to grow. So we'll start out by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we have rallied quite nicely. And this is mainly due to the fact that the uh, US dollar is depreciating today and um, therefore we have quite a nice gain here. However, we are running into support at the uh, 40 exponential moving average. If we were to break that, then we have the 50 moving average just above and uh, that will probably be uh, more difficult to get through that uh, moving average than it is the 40 uh, exponential moving average. We have crossed the signal line in the MACD, indicating bullish momentum. The same goes for the RSI, that is also fairly bullish, and also stochastic, and so on. So it's looking like we are going to go and break through this uh, 20, uh, 40 exponential moving average and go to the 50 moving average. Uh, to the downside, we have this uh, pink line here, which is 150, and the uh, yellow line, which is the 200 moving average. And that will be significant support uh, for this currency pair. Um, at this moment, it looks like we are probably going to trade between the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average. So there are around uh, 400 pips uh, thereabout. At the moment, we're straight in the middle. So worst po uh, position uh, to basically enter this market is right now. It can break to the downside, it can also break to the upside. And uh, at this point, if you want to be uh, lower your risk, then you should wait until you get to towards this level here or wait until you get closer to this level here in order to buy or to technically sell. So if you look at the US dollar yen, uh, we have broken down. We ran into resistance in, uh, at the 50 moving average, which we did expect. We broke down towards the 20 exponential moving average, and then we rallied again. So at the moment, we're technically stuck between the 50 moving average and the 20 exponential moving average. So at this point, so it's not very interesting in, uh, to, buy, to enter this. this. It's not a lot of movement, uh, but I do expect this market to eventually uh, turn around and uh, go towards this uh, support line here. We can see that we have seen similar moves in the past. I do expect something similar to this where we have a lot of choppiness and then we can completely break down. Um, to the upside, uh, we can see that we have an additional uh, trend line here, which will be significant resistant as well. So no interest in basically buying this. I'm just waiting for this pair to collapse and then there is a selling opportunity. If you look at the euro and US dollar, we have rallied the last four days. Um, uh, 1161 is uh, support. Right underneath that is the 100 moving average. And we ran into resistance of these two exponential moving averages. If we were to break through here, the 50 moving average is right on top. And that is probably as far as this market will go. So as well uh, as the other currency pairs that the US dollar is depreciating today uh, and that is pushing this market higher. We are about to cross the signal line in the MACD indicating bullish momentum, but uh, the RSI is technically pointing downwards momentum. Stochastic is very bullish and the bullish band is also pointing to higher levels. So we may go all the way to the 50 moving average. I do expect us to run into quite a lot of resistance at this level here, as we've seen in the past. This area has been uh, an area where we have visited several times. If you look at the US dollar, Aussie dollar, or the Aussie dollar, US dollar, we have rallied from the lows of, the, of uh, 0 0.70. And at this moment, we are running in the resistance at the uh, 20 exponential moving average. We have the 40 exponential moving average above and also the 50 exponential moving average. So we'll see a, probably a lot of choppiness if in order to get to the 50 moving average. If we break through there, then we'll go to this area here. And 
if that basically breaks, we'll go to the all uh, these highs of zero point seventy four. If we were to break down from here, then this um, zero point seventy is probably a good entry point. Further down, we have the 50, 150 uh, moving average, and that is at zero sixty nine. So, if you look at the U.S. dollar, Canadian dollar. It has broken down quite significantly today, as as expected. We didn't even get close to the 300 moving average. Uh, we were in this area here for a few training days, and now we broke down. And at this point, the 20 and 40 and the 50 moving averages or expansion moving averages will be uh, resistant. There will be support, and if we break through there, we'll go to this area. We can find it up here. We'll go down towards that area, and after that, this area here will also be uh, will also be supported. It technically looks like we are in, in an uptrend. However, we do need to bounce from this area in order to confirm that we are in an uptrend. There is a slight possibility that this is um, this are lower highs. And if that is the case, then we should basically bounce from this area and continue with this um, with this with this channel here. So we can basically write this up similar to this. So something similar to that. So we'll bounce from here, go up, and then continue in this pattern. If we were to break through there, then this is completely wrong. And then uh, then we most likely will test these uh, support areas here. Uh, if you look at the technical indicators, they are they are more in support of a downwards uh, momentum. You can look at the MACD, which is about to cross the signal line. Uh, probably tomorrow or on Friday session will uh, will cross, and that means they will have bearish momentum. The RSI is quite negative, and the same goes for the stochastic. So. We just have to see if we break through this area, we'll go lower. If we bounce from here, we'll go higher towards this uh, trend line here. So if you like this video, you're welcome to, uh, to support our channel by subscribing, hitting the like button and the bell button, and do please uh, share these videos. Uh, good luck and happy trading.